I think uh, you hit the nail on the head when you said player development, because um, the third window coming up in Clark um, is for the FIBA Asia Cup. And that's a standalone tournament. That's not a qualifier for the Olympics. It's not a qualifier for the World Cup either. It's a it's simply a zonal or a continental championships. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, that used to be called the Asian Basketball Confederation. Yeah. Um, and that title was last won by the Philippines in 1986 with Coach Ron Jacobs. So I think it's a good opportunity for uh, Coach Tab and Coach Jong um, to, um, to do player development, skills development. Um, I think their, their idea here is to have a mix of veterans and newcomers who play with heart and who can be versatile. Um, we won't have a Japet Aguilar. We won't have a Jumar Fajardo, obviously. We won't have uh, a Greg Slaughter, but um, you know, we'll have players who understand what it's like to play team basketball. And this is something that, uh, that the Gilas movement is all about. Um, looking forward to 2023. Um, for the third qualifying window, we understand that Korea is coming with a full force, including Ricardo Ratliff, their naturalized yeah. import. Yeah. And if that's the case, then that's well and good. Um, Philippines needs just to win one out of the three games to qualify for the FIBA Asia Cup. Um, there will also be a, uh, a qualifier among third place Finishers for every um, for every group, mm -hmm. and there are six groups in this in this qualifying um, window. Um, so, um, with two games against South Korea and one one game against Indonesia, uh, by the way, will be coming with uh, the naturalized import Lester Prosper. I think it's a very good challenge for us. Um, first, we'll need someone to match up against the naturalized imports. Both South Korea and Indonesia will come in with naturalized imports. I don't think Kwame will get his naturalization papers on time. Okay. So, um, you know, the question is, uh, will Soyud be able to man the slot for the Philippines and go up against, you know, the big guys from the other team? Um, yeah. That's a challenge. Um, Isaac Go, will he be able to do the job? Um, obviously, it's going to be a system approach uh, for defense on the part of Gilas. And um, I would be interested to find out what the final mix will be. No? I think um, I think Coach Jong, Coach Tab will want a, a, a fast team um, loaded with shooters, guys who can uh, hit the long ball. Um, I think uh, Javi De Leano, and I don't know if one will check in as well, He's but there if, in the bubble already. He, oh, just, arrived. Already there? he just arrived. Oh, yeah. good. Okay, yeah. good. Um, I think Juan has a lock on one slot in the team. <laughs> and uh, um, and uh, if, if you get a lot of good speedy players with good outstanding shooting ability, guys who can defend uh, the inside, um, who can help each other out like Troy Rosario does playing with a bigger guy. Um, I think we'll have a good mix. Um, I would have liked perhaps um, more experienced PBA players playing um, playing on the floor, but uh, given what we've got in Kalamba, we'll go by that. Um, you know, we can we can wish um, as much as we want, but you know, let's make do with the available talent. Uh, whoever is available and whoever is willing to play for the Philippines is what we've got. And they're in Kalamba, they're sacrificing, they're working hard. They're doing twice, three times a day practices, plus weights. So um, it's not easy. It's not easy. Um, I think whoever will be the final 12 chosen to represent us in the third qualifying window um, will be players whom we can be proud of. Do you believe it should be around six PBA, six uh, collegiate players, or eight, four? What do you think the best mix for you? Um, you know, I, I can't put the, the, my finger on any number. Um, I think it will depend on uh, the positions 
um, that you need to fill and how important those positions are. Um, if you're looking at, uh, let's say the point guard position and you know that's very important, you'll wanna make sure that you have the best available talent who can play the kind of team ball you want, yeah. the system type, type of, of game that you wanna play. So um, if it will mean more non-pros in the team because they're able to fill in the spots that you need to make a complete team-oriented unit, then you go you go with more non-pros. If you feel that you need more pros to fill in those slots, then you go with more pros. So it will all depend on what the coach feels are the holes you need to fill to make up a team that will work as a unit and who can understand the system that we need to use to beat teams like uh, Indonesia and South Korea.